Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my channel and today's video is gonna be a pretty quick one and a little bit different to what I usually do but the biggest question I ever get when it comes to The Sims 4 is what custom skins I use because custom skins really do help to make your sims individual, they really help if you are kind of bored of the way the EA skins look and you want to change it up a little bit or you just want more diversity in your game, custom skins are usually the way to go about this and I have like four or five that I tend to switch between and use and then also like kind of override each other and like put them on top of each other. It's a whole thing. I actually talked about most of these skins in a video that I did at the beginning of this year where I discussed all of my favorite custom content from 2018, but I thought why don't I just create this video and then I can link it to anyone in the future who asks me what skins I usually use when it comes to The Sims 4. And honestly, I can't see this changing anytime soon because I really like the way my Sims look at the moment and these skins definitely kind of fit my art style when it comes to create a sim. So of course I have to start off with the base skin that I use on every single one of my sims. I think I've had this in my game for at least the last two years and it was actually Kayla aka Lil Simsy who brought this skin to my attention. I actually have the default version of this. The non-default version is actually only the face but I prefer to have the body as well and this is Mad Mono the night skin. This is like the, I don't even know, the pinnacle of skins, Maxis match skins when it comes to The Sims 4. All of these skins are Maxis match. It's the custom content that I prefer to use. If you prefer alpha, then this video probably isn't for you. Or if you're an alpha CC user and you are looking to get into Maxis match, I feel like these like skins are a good base for you to build upon. So the night skin by Mad Mono is literally the foundation that I build every sim upon. Sometimes I won't give them a non-default overlay on top of this. I'll just leave them in the night skin just because I prefer the way it looks. Like I said, I do have the default version, so it's pretty much applied to all of my sims as soon as I go in to create a sim. So kids, for my show and tell today, I thought I would use Vince from my Realm of Magic Let's Play. So right now, he only has the night default skin replacement on. As you can see, honestly, I can't remember what EA used to look like. It just kind of smooths it out a little bit. It kind of takes some of the shine off for sure. I feel like that's a big thing that this skin actually does. And I just love the way it looks. I actually love the way it looks kind of more on the olivey side of things. I just think it makes these skin tones look a little bit flatter. They don't look quite as like patchy because sometimes they can definitely look patchy. So this is the night default replacement. As you can see, I have put it in all skin tones and I think it also works on these, but I'm not too sure. I never use these skin tones, so I would have no idea if it worked on them or not. The next is actually a skin tone pack and this is made by the one and only X Mira Mira, who is such a spearheaded figure for diversity in The Sims 4. I freaking love Mira. I love everything that she does. I think she is one of the most hilarious, one of the most hardworking, dedicated, freaking business inspired person I have ever known. I look up to this woman so much. So enough about me fangirling about Mira, but this is her melanin pack. Uh, this is actually the second version, which I do have in my game. I didn't download the first version. I don't know if the first version is still available, but I have the second one. So basically what this does is it brings better skin tones, more diversity, into your Sims game. Everyone always asks me like, 
what skin tones am I using because they don't look like the EA ones, they don't look ashy, the sims don't look like they have been kissed by the Grim Reaper, and if you're asking me that question, it's probably part of Mira's melanin pack. The only thing I will say is, unfortunately, these haven't been updated to go with island living and sun tanning, so your sims actually can't change their skin tone if they sunbathe they won't get burnt which is kind of a positive i guess so they won't get burnt but they also won't go any darker with these skin tones so as you can see all of these skin tones are actually custom ones so these are the ones that come with mirrors pack obviously if you don't have the more columns mod then these are gonna take up like a lot more room on your palette but I mean, that's not a problem because look at how many there are. I freaking love every single one of these skin tones. Like, they are just so much better. Like, look, look at this one and then like, look at these. Like, what the heck? The difference is insane. I personally love them. I feel like they are just way more realistic than the EA ones. With the night default replacement, the EA ones don't look quite as bad, but they are pretty horrific for the fact that they have super ashy patches. There are also like weird undertones as well on some of the EA darker skin tones. So I would definitely say download X Mirror Mirror's Melanin Pack if you want to diversify your game a lot more than the EA colors actually allow you to. This is like freaking Rimmel v Fenty Beauty and Fenty Beauty is always gonna win. The next skin which I have practically had in my game since I turned to Maxis Match, yes I used to be an alpha CC user but I definitely prefer Maxis Match these days and this is by Lumia Sims aka Lumia Lover and it is called Ooh Smooth 2. So this is just an overlay. So this is non-default. I actually can't show you any of the images because they have boobly doobly's in them. And I'm not gonna get demonetized for Sims chesticles. So this is Usmooth 2. I do actually still have Usmooth 1 in my game as well and I do still use that. Unfortunately I don't think it's available anymore. I just kind of base off which one I prefer on the current sim that I am making. Unfortunately I don't think one is available anywhere on the internet. Basically this is Usmooth 1 but with a lot more details and EA details do actually show through this as well. So basically this was an upgrade of the first version because the first version kind of wiped off everything and just kind of blurred everything. Whereas now you can have like cheek jowl definition and cleft chins are also more visible through it. If we move on from skin tones to skin details, I can actually show you guys Ooh Smooth. So this is Ooh Smooth 2, as you can see. It does what it says on the tin. It practically just smooths the skin out a lot more. I'm actually gonna take his top off as well so that you guys can see this. So if I go to skin details, this is just night default. This is his skin with Ooh Smooth. I will also tell you guys that it's super hard to see. Not super hard, but like you don't get quite as much like muscle definition if you use Ooh Smooth. So if I go to Ooh Smooth 1, still not bad. I actually thought it was worse for the definition. I thought it scrubbed a lot of it out, but it really doesn't look that bad. So if you look, that's night. This is it with Ooh Smooth. Just kind of makes everything look a little bit more fresh. This is actually the first Ooh Smooth. This is the first edition. I definitely prefer the second. It just makes like the eyelids look a lot better. And also, like they said, the face jowls, they are definitely more defined. Then for the girls, we have Ooh Smooth. So as you can see, it changes more on the body for the women, kind of makes everything look a bit more defined. And then when it comes to her face, just kind of takes out the nose 
crinkle that she had and also smooths out the cheeks but apart from that not too much of a change when it comes to Usmooth. And then the next two are also overlays and these are actually quite recent additions. I think I only started using these towards the end of the last year but they have played a major role in all of my sims from 2019. So if you've liked all the sims that I've created in 2019, they probably had one or the other one of the next two skins that I'm going to show you. Wow, that was such a difficult sentence to understand. Basically, they either had Folia de or they had soft peach skin. So Folia Dirt was actually brought to my attention through Jen, aka Urban Sims. If you guys really like custom content videos, Jen does an awful lot of them over on her channel. So please feel free to go check Jen out. So there are three versions of this as I said I will show all of these to you in the game and kind of talk through the differences but it's a skin blend and it is named after a Fallout Boy album which I did not know and the three versions are different swatches. So yeah again it's non-default so night skin blend is obviously the only default I have. If you have more than one default I don't think any of them work or they try to override each other. I don't know I've never had more than one in my game because because it kind of defeats the point of having a default skin replacement. So never install more than one default skin replacement in your game. Same goes for eyes in The Sims 4 as well. However, these are actually only enabled for teens to elders. So unfortunately, toddlers and kids cannot have this, which is really unfortunate because this is one of my favorite overlays. Again, we're starting on night default replacement and here we have Folly Adde. So this is the first watch of Folly Adde. So basically this is more, I want to say not cakey, but I don't know how I would describe it. Maybe, maybe it is cakey. It just seems to add like a layer of foundation to your sim but I feel like cakey is a bad thing. It also kind of changes the lips up as well but I really like the way it looks. Oh this is where the definition disappears. Okay so I was getting Usmooth and Folia de mixed up. So if you prefer a dad bod, Folia de is probably good for you because there's not a lot of definition in a sim's body but I prefer the way their face looks. Also, it adds these cute little like mouth corners. They look more in depth and I really like the way it looks. So that's the first swatch. The second swatch actually has this nose mask. I never use the second swatch of Folia de and I never really use the third swatch either. The third swatch pretty much highlights the cupid's bow and apart from that, it also highlights the cheeks as well, but I don't really use one or two. I tend to just stick to the first swatch on Folia de. For Folia de, as you can see, kind of exactly the same as the guys. It has the three swatches once again. Never really use these two swatches. Always tend to use this one and just makes your female sims just look super duper cute. And then the last one is the soft peach skin blend. This is actually made by Moki and this is actually available for toddlers and kids so I would say I would probably prefer to use this and then when they change into an adult change it to inspired moodlets uh Folia de. So this is the soft peach skin blend. Here is just a simple skin blend I made. I've been wanting to make another skin blend for myself so I'm not having to use a ton of skin details etc. So here we are. Comes in all ages and four separate packages. The female skin comes with a breast overlay as well. And again from default night skin to soft peach blend. So this kind of highlights the nose a bit more. It also adds like a slight nose mask and just smooths out the cheeks a lot. I really love the way this one looks. I love the little highlight on the nose and also the Sims Cupid bow. I just think it makes them look quite young. So I use this a lot on young adults. So that's the first swatch. The second swatch actually like mats everything out and then has these cute little freckles on, which again is super adorable. And then we have the third version, which I never really 
really use too much because honestly kind of looks a little bit fake with these freckles but I do like the way it makes the Sims lips look it doesn't change them too much but like I said just tends to smooth everything out that's what all of these skins have in common they kind of take the little details and just smooth everything out and I much prefer for Max's match look in Sims a smoother skin tone and then for soft peach blend this looks adorable on female sims i really like the way that this looks for female sims and you also get a little bit more boob definition as well so there are actually within each three swatches there's like a sub swatch of four for the boobs and how much definition you would like on those things so definitely goes into a bit more detail on the ladies for soft peach blend and then I guess I should also show you soft peach blend for the toddlers and the kids so again it just has the three different swatches that you have on the adults I always use this one on the toddlers I just love the way it looks I think it looks so cute and obviously once you put a hair on you can't really see the difference between the hairline and the face and for the kids it pretty much works the exact same way so they go from the night default skin to the soft peach skin blend like I said I do use this a lot on my younger sims I think it just makes the skin look really healthy and useful and therefore it works really really well on both toddlers and children and just defines them a little bit more so there we have it those are all the current skins that I use in my game as I said I do like to mix and match sometimes even if I'm creating like all of the same family they won't have the same skins just because I do like to diversify a little bit so thank you guys so so much for tuning into this video I hope it was helpful if you have any other questions about the custom content that I use I do have a CC tumblr finds page where I do reblog most of the new stuff that I put into my game sometimes it gets a little ahead of me and I lose track so not everything will be up there but I do try and reblog as much as possible if it already exists on tumblr so definitely drop me a follow over there whenever I go on like CC calls or anything like that that's probably the first place you can find all of that custom content or if you have any other custom content video requests then please do feel free to let me know what they are and hopefully I can do a video about them but I hope this was helpful if you see anyone in my comments or on my twitter asking me what skins I use on my sims feel free to link them to this video because I feel like we went in deep and I feel like it was thorough and I feel like we know each other more. So thank you guys for tuning in and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye guys!